Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I've got a quick unboxing. Um, I think I know what this is. Uh, the box seems way too big, but I'm not really expecting anything else. And what it is is a, uh, a tool that a company offered to send me to try out to get my first impressions. Um, and, um, you know, basically do an unboxing of it. And I thought, I, I get those almost daily, but occasionally a tool pops up that kind of catches my interest. Uh, do a little research on the company or on the uh, tool and think, okay, yeah, this is going to be something um, I want to get a hold of. So let's open it up. Today I'm going to use the uh, Falkneven KK. That's the type of knife this is. It's an uh, old school design, a kind of a yin-yang um, shape. Uh, and it was designed, um, as, as essentially a fixed blade pocket knife, um, or an apron knife. Um, so it's a, it's a rock solid performer, but it's a knife that was designed to be carried essentially in, in the pocket with more or less a blade cover. Falcon even makes a sheath for it. That's what I prefer. But anyway, enough chit chat and let's, uh, crack this guy open and see more mm -mm. Let's see if i can pry that there. Yes, there we go yeah see so look at that little box i think that's it lots of dog toy right there um so what do we have we've got the van poe uh torque wrench this is a half inch um you can see it's a 25 to 165 foot pound precision is plus or minus three that's uh maybe more than snap on but not unusual um wrapped in plastic here um there's the details uh motorcycles bicycles if you i don't know if you read that uh right there motorcycles cars um bikes that's what caught my eye. It's in the range. In fact, this this particular range here drops my um, my usual use for these of lug nuts about right in the middle, which is actually pretty good. Um, torque wrenches are not, you know, particularly difficult to manufacture. What's difficult is having quality enough components that they actually stay within spec. Um, but I've heard both good and bad about a lot of the brands. Um, so let's take a look at this one. Here it is. A uh, very similar case to Snap-on's case. What do we have? A um, little uh, red accent here. That's pretty smooth. So I rotate through the settings. Um, it arrived actually... Um, Probably at about, I don't know, 25 foot-pounds on the meter. Um, it looks like it goes below that, but that's where the, the buck stops on the, on the markings here. Um, Push-button release. Pretty loud. It's solid. Let's throw a torque or a um whoops is that on all the way there we go okay a little bit of back play there but smooth um this appears to be an anodized aluminum what i'm going to do with this yeah that's nice and smooth there um, is compare it head to head on a few uh, connections. By the way, these are not just laser engraved. Um, they're in there pretty tight. Um, this also, this appears to be on maybe with a laser, but I can feel it. Unlike some of the other things, like here's a snap on half inch, and this is like smooth. Um, and like the snap on, this doesn't really say where it's made. <laughs> the snap-on doesn't either. I'm sure it's America, but you think they'd put that on there. Um, now, this is about a $50-ish torque wrench. This one here is about a $350 torque wrench. Um, here's a gear wrench. 
This is a gear wrench half inch as well. Um, this one, I don't know if the new ones are made in the U.S., but I like this one. Um, as you can see right there, made in USA. Um, this goes a little bit higher, but starts a little bit higher. Um, so we've got a, uh, a $50 one. This is basically a little over 100 bucks for one a half inch in this range. And then if you want to go way down, we can go to the other side. Here's an old Thorson using the standard kind of meter. Uh, and these things can be had for about 25 bucks or so. So the concept of a torque wrench is not necessarily, doesn't necessarily mean it's expensive. The precision is what matters. The durability that it holds its, its, uh, its range um, or its uh, setting for a long time. Um, ease of use, basically, um, a lot of times with torque wrenches, um, unless you, you know, are working in a tire shop or someplace that uses a particular one constantly, um, it's more finish work. So they don't have to take the stress of a standard ratchet. They don't have to live up to uh, a lot of beatings because you're pretty careful with them. You don't drop them. You don't set them down hard. You don't just throw them in a case. In fact, a lot of them you keep in a blow mode, blow, blow, <laughs> have a problem with this again, a plastic case. Um, and to compare some cases here, let me set this, this down. Here's the gear wrench case, very similar. Blow molded plastic. Here's the Vanpo case. Um, polyethylene high density is what that one's made out of, if you're wondering. Um, here's the snap-on case. Now what I like about snap-ons, they went the extra mile and actually put a hinge on it not just a stretchy plastic. Um, again, high density polyethylene here. So these are the, what the cases look like. It's, that one's definitely on par with the others, if the case matters. And in, normally I would think, eh, not a big deal, except with torque wrenches, they tend to live in the case. The case usually goes out to the job with me. I don't pull the torque wrench out and then just um, take off with that. So anyway, uh, it's an unboxing of the Vanpo. I'll give this a, um, a look-see. Looks like it can easily be opened and recalibrated. Let's try that. Um, that's what goes on if you take it into a place that's got a calibration. You can see in there, so I could make some adjustments if I needed to. I don't know how far off it would be out of the box. Probably not a lot, because a lot of these start out quite well. It's whether or not they they hold on to their, their settings. Um, uses very similar setup like the snap-on um, with the big ring. Uh, the gear wrench um, basically uh, has a, uh, a much easier way to turn it, but it can lose the setting unless you make sure to lock it in with this twist ring down here. Um, just different ways of doing it. Um, but I also find I loan out my torque wrench quite often. That's why I have such as the gear wrench here, even though I've also got a similar snap on. Um, I want to, if that one's good enough, then that will also become a loaner, um, you know, for when people are swapping out their snow tires, which lots of people are doing right now, um, or they are actually uh, um, rotating their own tires, which I highly recommend. So you don't have to go into places, wait in line. Um, just learn the, the proper way to do it and then uh, get yourself some, get a good jack and some jack stands and um, you can do the whole thing in an hour if you know what you're doing. Um, anyway, so there it is. Um, unboxing of the Vanpo um, sub $50 torque wrench. And this one is the uh, 25 to 165. They make a whole series of them. That's also another thing is I noticed the company isn't a one-off. Um, and that, that's important to me as well. And with that, Doc out.